Here is one of the most crazy system of equations that I ever seen before. And here is why. I suppose that the first thing is let's try to express x from the first equation and put it to the second. Isn't it? It's easy. Let's try to express this one. x from the first equation x equals to 1 minus y. It's simple. Then let's try to put it to the second equation. And then we have a1 minus y to the power of 4 plus y to the power of 4. And it equals to 7. But now we're going to have a really crazy quantic equation like y plus plus something like y in the third squared plus y second squared plus something and we're going to have that it equals to 7. But it's really crazy and it's really hard to solve. It's not other way. But if we try to have a really really clever move we're going to take a look not at first but at second equation. And what can we see there? x to the power of 4 plus a group to the power of 4 equals 2. Does it remind you something, isn't it? I suppose that it can remind us a full squared. But how? It's really simple. We can write this expression like x to the power of 2 plus y to the power of 2. And it is a full squared with a minus of 2 times x to the power of 2 times y to the power of 2. Cool. And now let's repeat this transformation to this bracket. And it is also a full squared. Take a look. x to the power of 2 plus y to the power of 2. Here it is, a group to the power of 2 equals 2 x plus a group to the power of 2, it's similar, something similar, isn't it? Minus 2 x times a group. And now look at first equation of our system, x plus a group equals to 1. And we have x plus a group to the power of 2 there. So we understand that it is 1 to the power of 2, so it equals to 1. And then we understand that x to the power of 2 plus a to the power of 2 equals to 1 minus 2 times x times a. And now let's put this expression to this equation. So we're going to have that x to the power of 4 plus y to the power of 4 equals to 1 minus 2 times x y to the power of 2 minus 2 times x squared y squared and it equals to 7. Of course 7. And what are we going to see there? Last equation is similar like a quadratic equation, isn't it? If we take u equals to x times y, we have that 1 minus 2 times u to the power of 2 minus 2 times u squared equals to 7. And it's a really, really easy quadratic equation. Let's try to solve it. 1 minus, we write the first bracket, 1 minus 4 times u plus 4 times u squared minus 2 times u squared and it equals to 7. And then we have that 2 times u squared minus 4 times u minus 6 equals to 0. Or we can divide both sides of these equations on 2 and we have u to the power of 2 minus 2 times u minus 3 equals to 0. 
So the discriminant is really easy. 2 to the power of 2 plus 4 times 3. And it equals to, oh my way, it's really cool, 4 plus 12 and it equals to 16. Really, really, really good. It is also a full square. We remember it. Then we have that u first or second equals to 2 plus or minus 4 divided by 2. 4 is full square of 16. You understand. So there we have that u first u equals to 3 and second u equals to minus 1 or x times y equals to 3 or x times y equals to minus 1 is the first and second variety. So over there we have two systems of equations. We have two different ways. The first way is x times y equals to 3, while x plus y equals to 1. And second way, where x times y equals to minus 1, while x plus y equals to 1. And here we go. x equals to 1 minus y, and if you put it to the first equation, we have 1 minus y times y equals to 3. Mm -hmm. Then, y minus y squared minus 3 equals to 0. Or, y squared minus y plus 3 equals to 1. But, discriminant equals to 1 minus 12 and it's minus 11. So, it means that we don't have any decisions in this way. Let's try to find decisions there. We have that x also equals to 1 minus y and if we put it to the first equation we have 1 minus y times y equals to minus 1 or y minus y squared equals to minus 1. y squared minus y minus 1 equals to 0. Discriminant is 1 plus 4 equals to 5. So, y first or second equals to 1 plus minus full square of 5 and a bracket divided by 2. And in this way we can find x like minus 1 divided by y. And x first or second equals to minus 1 divided by 1 plus minus full square of 5 divided by 2.